All right, my beautiful friends, we're back together again on this lovely Monday, March 8th, 2021. Maybe we should start off with this today. Uh, and I want to see your shocked face because I can see you. I really can. Uh, there happened to be an attack on a Saudi Arabia oil facility, which has now sent crude oil even higher. Oh, wow. I just can't tell you how surprised and shocked I am. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. Would you? Duh. Uh, I told you. They're going to do what they got to do. And they're going to blame it on whatever they want to blame it on. This is all part of the mechanism to keep crude oil propped up, people. This is a game. All of it. So, uh, yeah, imagine my shock. I look at the headline. Saudi Arabia oil facility attacked. I, I almost fell over. Who would have ever imagined something like this would happen? It's amazing. It's amazing because we can predict what they're going to do. We can predict what's going to happen because we understand the game. It's crazy. Talking about the game, let, let's talk more about that. So we understand that we heard from Lex Luthor, you know, the Federal Reserve President Neil Kashkari here explaining how uh, he believes that it would be appropriate for more debt purchases, that's what it is, if the bond market gets out of control. Oh, oh, another shocking moment. I can't believe that. Maybe we all expected that to happen too. Of course, this is the game yet again, and it's in our face. It won't stop. Right now, the 10-year yield is higher. 1.6. This should not surprise you. I explained to you that they're going to not only allow this to happen, but make it happen. The Federal Reserve wants to create uh, turmoil, unrest, whatever you want to, however you want to put it, in the debt market. They want to control the yield curve. They can't just. They're not just going to do it without making the problem worse first. Again. Right now, stock futures are about flat, slightly negative. The market does not like the 10-year yield where it is. Uh, but again, this is the mechanism here. You're going to hear from more Fed presidents soon how something has to be done to calm down the uh, issue in the debt market here. And traders and investors are going to want it. They want the yield curve controlled. Okay, period, the end. Because this mechanism is going to foster a massive stock market rally. People, let me put this together for you real quick. We all understand what the main goal here is. The Fed wants control. They want full control of the debt market. They don't just want to rig it this much. They want to rig it as high as they can. They want absolute control over the debt market, and they're going to get it. They're going to get it by allowing the debt market 10-year yield to get out of control. So they can have an excuse to utilize yield curve control, period. Now, there's another facet here that uh, is underneath it. Let's talk about that. Once the Federal Reserve institutes yield curve control, or I don't know if they're going to do yield curve control first, or they're going to do a new version of Operation Twist, you know, buying long-term debt, selling short-term debt. Once... I believe either one of these occurs, you're going to see a multiples expansion occur in the stock market. What does that mean? <laughs> investors, investors, uh, if you want to call them that, uh, will be willing to pay more to own a share of stock. So you will see the stock market vault higher. I mean, almost immediately once this occurs. The Federal Reserve, again, what are they doing? They're fostering a wealth transfer. They are hyperinflating a debt bubble uh, and a stock market bubble, housing bubble. They're creating massive distortions in this market. You know that if you follow this blog. This is all by design. Nothing here is by accident. This is what they want to do. This is what they've been involved in doing for a very, very long time. So, Understanding the mechanism here, you can see the Fed is very happy to see the turmoil here in the debt market. We heard from Federal Reserve President Brainerd who said, oh, 
we're all very concerned. We're very concerned about what's happening in the debt market and the 10-year yield rising like this. Bullshit, okay? She could not be happier, Federal Reserve President Brainerd. No member of the Federal Reserve could be more happy to see the turmoil in the, in the debt market for which they're allowing to happen because they want to control the yield curve, which will, in effect, well, the effect of it will be a much higher stock market. And it allows them to get stronger because how do they do it? They can't just say, hey, we're going to control the yield curve. They have to get into the debt market and make it happen. They have to pick a target. Let's say the 10-year yield. We want the 10-year yield at 1.34. Let's just pick a number out of a hat here, or out of thin air. The Fed now has the opportunity to create any amount of cash they want to get in here and buy the debt to a greater degree to keep the rate low. This is what they want. This mechanism will push the stock market higher, much higher, much, much higher. And what is the ripple effect here? Of the Federal Reserve instituting you know, more debt, acquisition, more debt creation, okay, theoretically, this would be massively bullish for precious metals. You can understand why, okay, but again, JP Morgan is going to play their game with metals. They're going to play it until they can't play it, so just use this as an opportunity. Cryptocurrencies, in my view, massively bullish for cryptocurrencies as well. Massively dollar negative, quite obviously, and that's, that's the other facet here in this whole thing that we must pay attention to. The Fed wants a digital dollar. Why more control? More control. All about control. The Fed wants to own it all. You know that. They're rigging the largest part of this market, people, to the highest order and beyond. That is the debt market. And everything else is a derivative of the debt market. The stock market is a derivative of the debt market. Everything derives value as to what is happening in the debt market. And this is why the Fed wants full control. You understand? Should be very simple for you to understand. So anyway, right now, again, as I am doing this video blog, stock trading didn't start for about 40 minutes. You got stock futures kind of mixed. You got, and I just looked at it before this video blog. You got Dow futures slightly higher, S&P futures lower, NASDAQ futures lower, 10-year yield 1.6. Okay, dollar slightly stronger. This is not a good setup for the stock market. And this is what the Fed wants. More turmoil in the debt market, which will cause pressure on the stock market. So again, it's, it's always the same scenario. Here's a problem. Let's wait for the reaction and let's institute the solution. It's the same three steps over and over and over and over again. It won't stop. So you need to understand what you're seeing and why. Why you are seeing this. Um, it's incredible. It's always about why, why, why. And I think it's pretty obvious here, people. All right, look, so that's where we stand. We need to watch these things, people. You know how to keep your eyes on this. Right here on my website, traderschoice.net, there is a link in the description of the video. Top of the second page, you can watch the dollar index real time. You can watch the 10 year yield. You can watch crude oil. Oh, I'm still so sh shocked about the Saudi, the Saudi attack. Yeah, yeah, they attacked the Saudi oil refinery or something over there. And crude oil is higher. <sighs> Imagine my shock. All right, look, I'm out of here. This guy here loves you a lot. Please share the video. Watch the freak show that has now evolved into a shit show because that's all this is. And we will follow this up at the end of the day. I can't wait. Really can't. <laughs> Save that.